The aim of positive psychology is to catalyze a change in psychology from a preoccupation only with repairing the worst things in life to also building the best qualities in life. My favorite word is the word appreciate. Appreciate has two meanings. The first meaning is to say thank you for something. And that's a nice thing to do. Basic courtesy to say something nice to someone. But there's another meaning to appreciate, and that is to grow in value. And the two meanings of the word appreciate are connected. It's not a coincidence. Why? Because when I appreciate the good, the good appreciates. Five little acts of kindness significantly increases our levels of well-being as well as our self-esteem. You have 30 seconds. How many geometric shapes are there on the screen? Go. Zero. Okay. Uh, anyone less than zero? Going once, going twice. All right. So I would say that uh, we have a, a quite a large range today between zero and infinity. So I have an easier question for you. If you know the answer, put your hand up. If you think you know the answer halfway, maybe, maybe quarter way up. How many children were clearly visible on the bus? Just as, as far as most of you in the room were concerned, the children on the bus did not exist, even though they were there, right in front of your very eyes, for 30 or 31 seconds. After the honeymoon phase is over, after three or four or five years, questions such as, uh, what's wrong? Or, or what happened? Or what do we need to fix? Or what do we need to work on in our relationship? What if I only ask the what is not working kind of questions? Well, then the only things that I will see in my relationship are the things that are not working. Now, is it any wonder that so many relationships fail? It's very difficult, maybe impossible, to build a healthy long-term relationship if we don't also, not only, but also appreciate that are worth appreciating in our partner. <laughs> How do we identify strength? Well, we can ask two questions. The first question is, what are your strengths? In other words, <clears throat> what are you good at? The second question is, what gives you strength? What energizes you? When you find the overlap between these two, that is when you're at your best. That is when you're most resilient. Sometimes suffering, that's not the question. The question is, what do we do about these challenges and difficulties and suffering when we face them? And for that, resilience is paramount. For that, resilience is critical. The healthy, successful, energetic managers and leaders, what they do differently is that they take time aside for recovery. Whether it's the 15 minutes <coughs> of meditation or walking, or, or having a lunch, and not lunch when they're on the phone at the same time and working at the same time. Real recovery. In fact, managers, leaders who take a day off get more done overall in the week than they do if they don't take time off. In other words, recovery is a good investment.